get this going. I got my wax paper down. I put out too much flour. It's going to stand a pal. It'll end up in the trash. Whatever. So, I put a little wax paper down. Save with the mix up. The mix up. The clean up. And then I've got um, the wax paper, the flour. Easy peasy. So, we're just going to put some of this pizza sauce on here. You don't need a whole lot. But it's your kitchen. It's your rules. You want to add a load of this stuff, you feel free to do what you want to. Okay? Because can't nobody tell you what to do in your own house, in your own kitchen. Okay? All right. So make sure you get it on every piece of this dough. Because like I said, these are pizza roll-ups. And you've probably seen them at places like uh, Pizza Hut. I say it all the time. There is nothing. And I do mean nothing. That you can buy out on those streets. That you can't make yourself at home. There is absolutely nothing. I've been making these for my kids even before Pizza Hut started doing them. Which is still yet a great idea. Okay? And this is so easy. I'm going to do two of them. Because that's what my kids want. You can put as many pepperonis on here as you want to. You can also cut these pepperonis up into pieces. You can do anything. Do it any way you want to. Okay? You can do this a million ways. There is no wrong way. Only thing I would say is that be mindful of how big of the pepperonis that you get if you get those really huge ones because you got to remember they're going to give off all that grease. You know how pepperonis do. They give you all that grease, grease you don't want. So you could use the big ones. You can also use these. Any size you want, you can cut them up. You can do it any way you want to. Okay? This is a forgivable dish. You can't mess it up. Only way you can mess it up is if you burn it. And ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody trying to burn nothing. Okay? We are not trying to burn. Food costs way too much money to be wasting your food. Way too much. Have you guys been looking at these grocery store prices? Oh my bejeebus. Okay? They are crazy. I'm debating on whether I want to put another roll on here. Because it just seems like it just needs another roll right there. I mean, why not? Okay. And then, I was finna roll it up. Not yet. Not until we sprinkle some cheese on here. Put as much as you want on here. This is another one of those times, like I say. Your kitchen, your roof. Do what you want to do. It's your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. That's the truth. It is your kitchen, your rules. Do whatever you want. Now, the reason why you saw me with the parsley is because you know she loves pretty. It's not adding any flavor to this dish, but it's sure gonna be pretty. Not pretty, but pretty. <laughs> she cracks herself up. You know it's bad when you laugh at yourself. But anyway, so then we're just gonna take this Okay, and you're just gonna roll it up easy peasy. I'm telling you, roll it up. That's all we're gonna do at this point is we're just gonna roll it up, which is why I put that flour down so it wouldn't stick so much. Because one thing about dough, you gotta hurry up and get it moving because this stuff is not workable, it just seems like a big mush when you leave it sitting out too long. So, you want to kind of work with it before, okay. Pepperoni's trying to come out. They're not coming out. Because I'm going to close this baby up. Okay? Take it and close it up. If you can see what I'm doing. Close it up. Fingers getting nasty. It doesn't matter if you get a hole in it. Because it looks like I see one on my camera. Doesn't matter. If it closes up, it closes up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Again, I say, this is a very forgivable dish. Okay? All right. And then now all we have to do at this point is cut her up. That's it. Just cut her up. That's all she needs done. A little slice, slice, a little slice, slice. Make sure you get use a serrated knife. Okay? And then you can just cut right through it. Okay? And then we're just going to cut some pieces. Even though it doesn't want to cut. We're going to cut it. So I'm just going to go through and cut these up. Let me show you. Doesn't matter if she's falling apart. We don't even care. Because we're going to put her in there and she's going to bake. 
All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Preheat your oven to 400. We're gonna let them bake for about eight, anywhere from eight to 12 minutes. And I've got two sheets, okay? So we're gonna get these babies in the oven. They don't look the prettiest now, but wait until that dough store is coming around them. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, I'll be right back. And that is going to be, it can take anywhere from eight to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. Eight to 12 minutes. I'm gonna bake mine on 350. You can bake yours on 400. You can even go up as high as 425. But I like to do mine slow because I'm cooking other things at the same time. So, okay, I'll be back. There you go. In the oven for 15 minutes. Pizza rolls. And that's a little bit of the marinara. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share the videos. This is what we're doing all day and every day in this kitchen. This is what we're doing. I told you they were going to puff up. This one was a little flatter, but that's okay. It's edible. <laughs> all right, you guys. Everybody be blessed and stay safe and know that Gigi will see you in the next one, okay? All right. Bye-bye, you guys.